phone lines. And, and in this area, they seem to be somewhat equally spaced, sort of in a joint Just pattern. zoom out a little bit. So they really are quite a mystery. Yeah, I wouldn't expect the long lines. I think Tim was just mentioning too to, to form kind of a, almost like mm -hmm. an angle on the seafloor. I, I think you'd see more draping or there. something. Little shell between his feelers at the top. That's okay. You can come out. This commod video. Just They're just perplexing at this Thank point you. in time. Watch, Lee. Yeah, that one bifurcates as well on yeah. the right. Watch, Lee. Do you hear co-pilot? Can we continue to look up? Continuing up. Go ahead, co-pilot. Yeah, I was just going to say there's a very good view of the lines in the uh, mini HD. HD2. Yeah, yeah HD2. Oh, HD2, there's a good view. Yeah, co-pilot just pointed out there's a really good view of the lines in the HD2 camera. Not a lot of colonization here again. Um, no conspicuous fauna growing on these uh, rocks. All right, uh, let's get... There's a thin Just video a sediment. Ten meter move. Copy that. And I kind of end here. We'll continue to look up. It's Continuing up. It's a great view on HD two. I mean, from that, it looks entirely like it's uh, like veining or, or fractured rock rather than bridge. This is nav. Long line. They bifurcate off each other and. Hi, uh, could we request a ship move yeah, 10 yeah, meters I, I uh, due west and point one that. knots? But, uh, not to tell if it's just multiple scraping sediment cover. Yeah, that's but, correct. Uh, Thank you. But I'm now and probably won't sleep till I figure it Videos out. Videos come <laughs> hard. <laughs> that was why I just did a focus. Okay. Pushing back in, coming up. Do you see the three straight lines right in front of us? Yeah. Can we yeah. zoom in on the three straight lines? It almost lines. looks like trawl marks. TTT, please dial 202, TTT 202. <laughs> almost reminds me of something you'd see along the stream, a stream. Uh, on land where you could get, you know, fluid movement down, carving into rocks. Yeah. Do you want to zoom more than this watch lead, or is that's, this okay? That's good, but there's uh, something to the left. It's pink, if you could zoom in on that. At the top? Oh, the the left. far left. Yep. Okay, yep. It's just so perplexing. <laughs> is, uh, is Scott a uh, fan? Yeah, let's go. On. We have an urchin. Yeah, I'm here. And it's got those strikes, and we just saw parallel uh, short ones. That is so uh, reminiscent of the Salt Seamount, where we had that, where we saw the trawl marks going over the edge of the, the rim, the Seamount. Okay, come on. Yeah, Tim, I, I know what you're referring you're to, and uh, my memory's not good enough to, uh, you know, visualize what we saw at that time. Um, I'll see yeah, if I can uh, get less to have a look at some of this. Pan right. I'm not saying that's what I think it is. I'm just saying it's so reminiscent that it's just mm -hmm. really strange. They are extremely straight parallel lines too. Uh, maybe an acanthogorgia. Can you zoom yellow? Snap Center. Zoom for ID video. Just a sponge. few different sponges here. Coral bottom center. Yeah, can we get the bottom center? There's a bivalve there too, I think. We'll frame this one a little bit nicer. Go video. Okay, we have a scleric tinian branching coral here.